we have to read and write the data not from spark application a simple python program i want to read and write the data uh, from s3 from a python program not from pyspark not from spark a simple python program is it possible to do that is it possible to do that do we have any python modules to do that okay remember guys here there is a, a program uh, a python module or package is there for it to interact with uh, aws services programmatically is it is called as boto3 i will show you a python package to interact with uh, aws services via a command line tool command line via command line aws cli these are the one these are two python packages with which we can access we can interact with aws services so if it is programmatically the python package we have to use boto3 if it is via cli if you want to interact with this aws services through cli we need to install a package called as aws cli okay let me show you that very simple are you able to understand this guys there is no other choice we have to remember all this okay we have to know and we have to remember all this i'll show you that this terms of here uh go to pypy pypy this is where we'll have all the python repositories right the python uh, package index click on this search for boto3 you can see something here boto3 boto to all the versions of boto choose the boto3 can you see here the description of this Boto3 is the Amazon Web Services Software Development Kit SDK is an SDK for Python which allows Python developers to write software that makes use of services like EC2 and uh, S3 all those if you want to interact with any of the services then we have to use this Boto3 package got it guys here are you able to see this okay this is the importance of this i will show you in next session uh, tomorrow session i will show you how to read from spark how to read from boto3 and how to read from command line tool also okay and one more we have package for aws cli aws command this called as aws cli command interface if you click on this the first very one you can see the description of this package can you see this this package provides a unified command line interface to amazon web services okay and uh, this is the steps of installation and everything don't worry about all this i will explain you i will show you how to read the data from uh, read and write this to communicate to interact with aws using spark using boto3 and uh, using boto3 and uh, uh we can also use we can use a uh, spark uh to read and write from aws s3 okay so now we can from spark what is the from spark what is that we can use is from spark application from a spark app uh, we can read and write the data from aws s3 but to deal with any other uh, uh, service including s3 i am writing here including s3 even this also includes s3 including s3 these are two services we have totally now we can access s3 data uh, using how many ways three different ways S3 data from a Spark application. It is again Python program only, and we have one more a package called as Boto3, and we have one more called as AWS CLI. The three ways of accessing 
the data from AWS S3. We are not concerned about remaining services now. We are, we are interested in only S3. We can do this these three ways. Okay, I will show you uh, these three ways of doing that. Okay, or we use Spark application to read and write from S3. Or we use Boto3 uh, to read and write from S3. And when we use AWS LA to read and write from S3. Okay, so that you will get an idea. And among these three, which one would be better and which is preferred when and how? Okay, that we will discuss that also. And uh, to use any of these, to use any of these, we require the keys, both access key and secret key. These two keys are required in any approach, whether we are using for Spark app or a Boto3 package or AWS CLI, we require access key and secret key. Okay, so this is the brief introduction and uh, you know uh, an instance creation and uh, in little introduction about uh, the S3. How do we read and how do we work with them? The thing that I have shown you. So in the next session, I will show you how to uh, process uh, this data S3 data by using these different ways and uh, by using Spark, about 3 and AWS SL, okay? Go through the video and do practice, okay? Then you will understand all this. Once you understand this session and what is tomorrow's session, you will understand almost, uh, you will learn almost everything that you can do with what you call as uh, AWS S3 and uh, EMRs, all those, okay?